Hi everyone, this is uh, Josh and Cindy Lou, aka Twinny Twin Mom, and welcome to Vlogus Day 3. I did a makeup tutorial yesterday just on basic makeup, so today I am going to be doing the uh, extended version. So it's taking your all day, every day makeup that you wear and pumping it up for glamour, for nighttime, for going out, for just having, uh, even if you just have uh, more um, fun function to do and you just want to go high glam that day. So that's what this is going to be. So where we're going to start is where we left off. So we did our basic makeup. We are going to uh, go back to our um, MAC uh, blush, which is the Cosmic Force. And I have a blush brush by MAC that I really like this brush. I don't know what the number is. 129, if I have my glasses on, I can see. So um, I just load this brush heavily and go back over. The cheek area and then I want to go around the hairline half on the face half on the hairline we can brush it off later okay you can go down here and you do the chin line come over here Okay, maybe a little more, because you really want that cut. See how cut it is? Okay, now I have I have this eyeshadow. This is eyeshadow, ladies. This is Milan. I don't even know if they make this color any longer. The color is Coffee Shop number number four, Coffee Shop. And it's a very um, bronzy, coppery brown. It's so pretty. And I love it for eyeshadow, but what I really love it for is um, I have this little tiny Estee, La Estee Lauder brush, and I like to load it and keep it kind of small, like pinch it small. And really use it for some serious contouring. Okay, this is, oh, oh, what? She just lost 40 pounds on camera? Oh, she sure did, it's because of contouring. So thank you, Jesus. And we are going to do the other side. And I'm going to do a really high contouring look. So this is, you know, like a lot of, hey, I'm going out, this is date night, and I'm so, yeah, there's a baby coming after this. So just go up a little bit. And if you have um, like some sparse areas up in here in your, where your face um, is is shaped with the hairline, you know, just go ahead and hit those a little more because it just gives, I don't know what it does, but it just gives a little bit more, um, see, it just looks pretty. Okay, it's just, it's not true, you're not trying to fill it in, you're just trying to look like you were out in the sun a little bit longer but you don't have that look of too much being out in the sun. Now, what you really want to do is go hit this underside. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's how we do, ladies. Okay, now, um, starting back, we're gonna use the same brush. We're gonna work a lot of the product off with a towel, a clean towel. And we're gonna go back to our Mac and we're going to load the brush 
but we're going to, we're going to pinch it out. We're going to start at the nose where uh, the eye is, and we're going to come down. Okay. We're going to do that again, and we're going to do the other side. We're going to go on the underside. See, it just gives us more of a chiseled Grecian look, you know, like a statue. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Now, some like to do around the chin. I do not. Under the chin, yes. But not on top. Now, since it's heavily contoured, you want to take that brush, wipe a lot of the product off, because you want to blend some of it in. Okay. Now to go increasingly more chiseled, you want to take your brush, you want to unload it of all the product, and then you want to take your Studio Fix, you want to load it up, and you want to Okay. And go up in your ear. You don't want a shiny ear. Let me show you how that takes how that looks after you do that. See how that took that shiny out of my ear? And if you're going out at night, who cares? So you're gonna have big fat earrings on anyway, right? Nobody's gonna be sucking on your ears till later. You can wash them off. <laughs> okay, so there's that. I got a bunch of little hairs. Okay, now um, maybe I'll stick with this. I haven't used this for a while for my shadow. Okay. You know what? Hold. Let me do my hand. Let's see? Nope. I don't want to. I'm going to go back to my Naked palette. Actually, I am. I'm going to use this, this Milan. And I'm going to go up here inside of the, the crease of my eye. And this brush has no number. It is MAC. And it is a... Um, I forgot what they called it. A blender and something else brush and it was really great so I just want to take that all the way through the crease I don't want to get it on my nose bridge I like that. Okay, I'll go out a little bit further. Out by my wing. I'm going out that direction. Okay. Unload that brush. Then I'm going to find, um, I have this, this other nice brush. It's very nice. I use this for lighter shadows. I'm not sure why, but it just always has been. So I'm going to take this color and a little bit of this and go up top in that crease or in the under the brow. Okay, just so it gives a little bling. contrast and then you want to kind of sweep it out under the okay pretty now I'm gonna go back in with the same colors that I used for um, my eyebrows and I'm going to use the the darker brown which is called nope. 
blisted. I can't read it. Blisted and blackout. I don't know. I can't read it. I can't see mine. Without my glasses. So, yeah, I'm there. <laughs> uh, a little bit and a little bit of black. Start in the corner. Dabbing. See? I just dabbed it on there. Now you want to do circles. Dab it. And then do circles. So you can smoke it out. See? Just a little bit. Dab it. And then... Do circles, just smoke it out. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. When I was a kid, I was, my mom was 45 when she had me and my sisters were grown and married and had kids of their own that were much older than me. And so when the street lights came on, oh, Cindy had to be home and all my friends would make fun of me. Um, but yeah, as soon as the street lights were on, I had to be home. And um, so I would just go home and I would just sit there all night being bored because I was an only child at home. Um, and I would just play with makeup and do my hair. My mom was a hairdresser, uh, but she was no longer working. And so I would dye my hair and, and I'm talking from the time I was like 12 and I would dye my hair and do my makeup and just, uh, well, makeup even earlier, like since I was about 10 and I would just play and play and play. And I just I loved it. It was so much fun. It was very artistic for me. Um, so so I'm using a little, I'm going back in with a little more black. Okay, in the corner. Okay, this is high drama now. We are just going there. Okay, this is some baby making eyeshadow people, so. This is date night with your husband. This is having a good old time. Um, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Now we want to hit that with a little bit of black underneath. Now if you want to go in, now I could do that. I'll go in and I'll load this and put some of that up there on the, in the corner, and on the eyelid. But usually I try and do that early on. And I want to do the corner corner. See how that? See how that looks? That glimmer right there in the corner. Okay. Getting a little hot again. So I just want to go back in and hit this under eye, smoke it out with some black. Put some black there first and then work it in. I'm telling you, this black in this palette, this Naked too, this is, it's, it's Urban Decay. It is crazy black. It is like coal. It's like, it is black. And I have been like, where have you been all my life? This is the black I needed in the 80s when I thought it was all goth and for that week. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Now, if you, like me, get some product here, you just want to take a clean brush, unload it, and swoop it away, swoop it away unload that and then go back with either your studio fix or with your your loose powder and you just I'm gonna use the studio fix because it's right here you just gonna dab that on there to brighten that up and make sure that it knows it was baked and it's gonna stay baked and baking I mean I've heard people talk, you know, about, oh, you shouldn't bake after 40. 
who cares, dude? It's your face. If it's going to make you feel awesome and look awesome, you know, go ahead and do it. I don't think there's an age limit to makeup. Uh, I don't like the fact that my mom had to stop wearing makeup when I was growing up because um, her eyes bothered her and so she just quit wearing certain makeups all together and now my sister who is wife well, too uh, one is 72 one is 70 and my older sister sissy you'll meet her at some point uh, she uh, doesn't wear much makeup and I'm like oh and I just want to glam her up because it's like when you get into that rut of not using makeup you forget how fabulous makeup is will make you feel because it will reinvent you. Uh, our pastor talks about, you know, go home. He tells us ladies, go home. Your, your husband didn't marry you looking like that. Go paint the barn. And you know, painting the barn is go get something new to wear. Go do makeup, go do your hair, go have some fun. Painting the barn is just that painting it. it. You don't have to lose weight. You don't have to do anything drastic. Just go paint the barn. So this is a tutorial on painting the barn. So I think that's pretty good for eyes. And I love using um, any kind of, I love these NYX NYX um, lip liners and eyeliners and I use them for everything so if my my go-to daily is if I'm using um, red lips then the, the eyeliner the lip liner that I use I will use that as eyeliner and that's how it is so it kind of flows and that's just me that's how I am so um, I'm gonna do my lips now and I always go I always go over. That's the chola coming out. Okay. And yes, I always over exaggerate because I can. Now I have three dudes that I am in love with. Okay. The first one that I bought was they're all Mac. This is this is a velvet teddy. So yeah worn that down to the nub. There's Velvet Teddy, and this is Honey Love, or Kelly, anyway. That's why I bought it, and this is Flesh Pot. So these are my three go-to nudes. Right now, I've really, my Flesh Pot is my newest, and I'm really loving that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put flesh pot on. And then I'm going to take my lip brush. I'm going to blend it. You see that? Get real close. So I'm blending it with the lip liner so it looks ombre. So it gives your lips more depth. Okay, so as I stand back, you can see it makes my lips look bigger because the inside is lighter. So, and this, you can wear this every day. You just use more of a, a reddish, burgundy, brownish color. I use purples and then use purple under the eye. That's fun. So, you know, makeup is all you want it to be. It can be anything how you see fit. So. And then you just go do your hair and we're all done, ladies. Put some earrings on, fun dress, and you know, there you go. So thank you for vlogging with me on day three. I really appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and...
<laughs> I have ninja at the door again. Um, so subscribe to my channel. It's Josh's Cindy Lou, aka Twinny Twin Mom. And we're going to be doing vloggist all month long. And I'm going to be doing packing videos and all kinds of uh, fun back to school stuff and makeup and all kinds of stuff. So please join us. Uh, go ahead and click that bell so you can be notified when I post new stuff. So thank you so much.